In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to save upwards of $800 on your new Mac. Just recently, I picked up the base model 256 gig M4 Mac mini with the intention of upgrading the storage externally. So as you can see here, we're gonna select the base model, scroll down to the storage, and in order to get two terabytes, you're gonna to have to spend another $1,000, which is insane. That should be criminal, but that's besides the point. So instead of paying for the two terabytes internal upgrade, what I did was buy an external two terabyte NVMe and an NVMe enclosure for a total of, I believe it was $200. So that's $800 of savings right there for the same amount of storage. That's actually faster. In order to use an external drive as your system drive on the Mac, you're gonna have to go through a few steps and we're gonna go over that today. During the setup process, you wanna make sure that your external SSD is not plugged in yet. So when you're first getting your Mac set up, just skip through all the stuff like you normally would. Now there's two main things you wanna make sure you skip. Migration assistance and signing into your Apple account. We're gonna do that later on once everything's set up properly. Now just continue through until you get to the create an account screen. Pick a name, an account name, and a password, whatever you'd like. It's up to you if you wanna enable location services. I didn't. Everything else in the setup, you can either skip through, set it up now, whatever you'd like. It's just very important that you don't set up the migration assistant and you don't sign into your Apple ID. You already know dark mode is the only option and we're good to go. All right, so now that we're all booted in, the first thing you wanna do is go to your finder settings, the top left here, and select show hard disk on your desktop. And there we go, it's gonna pop up in the top right. So let's open that up, go into users, and here you can see your home folder. It shows the little house inside. So what we're gonna do is actually transfer the home folder to the external and make the external drive our permanent home folder. So now go ahead and plug in your external SSD. All right, so now that you plug in your SSD, you should see it populate on the desktop here. Next, you're gonna wanna go to your disk utility, open that up, find your drive, so right here, and then hit erase. Now you can come up with a name, so I will do Nicknology main, we'll just do that. And then for the format type, you're gonna wanna APFS, and then you might also see another option under that, so just make sure it says GUID partition map and then hit erase. All right, we're good to go. There we go, showing two terabytes. Good sign. All right, so now you're just gonna wanna open your external drive. There we go. And then you're gonna wanna drag and drop your internal home folder to the external drive. Hit continue, type your password in. There we go, good to go. Next step, we're gonna wanna transfer our applications folder over to the external as well. So just go back on your internal drive here, find the applications folder right here and drag and drop. There we go, good to go. Now the next step is pretty simple. Just open your app store, go to the settings, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure download and install large apps to a separate disk is selected. And that's where you're gonna find your external drive, right there. Boom, good to go. All right, so now that whenever you install a new app from the App Store, it's gonna install it directly to your external drive. All right, so next step, we have to transfer the little house from the internal home folder to the external home folder. Because technically, this home folder on ex our external isn't the actual home folder for the system at the moment, but we can change that in the settings. All right, so just open your system settings, scroll down to users and groups, and then what you're gonna wanna do is hold control and click your admin. Advanced options will pop up, click into there, type in your password again, scroll down and you're gonna see home directory right here. This is where we choose the path of the new home folder. So just go to choose, find your drive, mine is right here, select the new home folder and then hit open. Once you hit open, it's gonna ask you to do a system reset. So we'll do that and I'll be right back. All right, so we're back and it looks like we have successfully switched the home folder. So as you can see, we got the little house on our external home folder now and no longer on the internal drive. So that is good. Next, we're gonna sign into our Apple account. So just close these out for now, open up your settings, just click sign in with your Apple account and enter all your details. All right, so once you are signed in your Apple account, you should see your Apple information show up here and then it'll start to sync all your iCloud stuff and you should be good to go. The last setting I recommend turning on when using an external SSD is right here under energy. You wanna make sure prevent automatic sleeping when the display is off is checked on. What that's gonna do is every time your monitor turns off, it's gonna prevent your Mac from going to sleep, which would dismount the external SSD. That's gonna be it guys. Um, if you're looking to get a brand new Mac, I highly recommend just getting the base model of storage. Apple charges way too much for internal storage and you can save a lot of money by just doing it yourself. If you've watched this far and you found this video useful, please consider dropping a sub. This channel is still brand new and I'm really excited to get it off the ground. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.